my Christchurch friend Peggy was feeling overwhelmed with her long to-do list, many, many projects that she needed to complete. Her husband Larry said, maybe just sit still and let God help you with this. Trust God to help you. She said it had been a tough day, and when she couldn't fall asleep easily, she decided to sit in front of the computer and just browse through articles online and see if she'd get sleepy. Suddenly, up popped a message from God. It was from a Christian business that sent an email devotion written with Peggy's name on it. Here's how it went. Hi there. I hope this finds you surrounded by peace. It's Randy, reaching out from Christ's follower life with a gentle nudge for the week, a call to stillness in the Lord's presence. In our hustle and bustle, it's easy to forget the power of being still. Here are seven reminders from the Bible that invite us to pause, reflect, and find our strength in God's steadfastness. Psalm 46 verse 10 says, Be still and know that I am God. Exodus chapter 14 verse 14 says, The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. 1 Samuel chapter 12 verse 16 says, Now then, stand still and see this great thing the Lord is about to bring to you today. Number five, Psalm 37, verse seven says, be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. The sixth Bible verse is from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31, that says, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. And then number seven, Isaiah chapter 26, verse three, you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Randy, the author of this late night devotional, ended with these thoughts. In these quiet times, we can really feel God's power and love. It's like taking a deep breath for your soul. These verses tell us that it's okay to pause and let God take care of things. So, let us take a moment to be still and let these words sink in. They remind us that God has our back, even when we're just waiting quietly. Be still and know you are blessed. Randy, CEO, Christ Follower Life. Friends, I had a touching experience a week or so ago, when I was opening the doors leading to our Christchurch elevator. From the corner of my eye, I saw something fly over my shoulder and then lightly brush my cheek. I quickly looked up to see a small white butterfly dancing its way through the air, sometimes opening its wings to just catch that slight breeze then continuing to ascend into the sky until it flew over the roof of our church out of my sight. I was amazed at that slight build, delicate looking, but strong little butterfly that the master creator designed with such beauty and such grace. Suddenly I went back in time to my college American literature class at Miami University in Oxford, Ohio. When I was reading writings by Nathaniel Hawthorne, he wrote these thought provoking words. Happiness is like a butterfly, which when pursued is always just beyond our grasp. But if you will sit down quietly, it just may alight upon you. When I thought about Larry's wise advice to sit quietly and trust God to help, I saw God's grace and wisdom sent to Peggy to bless her anxious thoughts and plans and to give her the peace that we know only truly comes from God. However, to be completely honest, 
I imagine God sent that devotion from this Christ follower named Randy, who then sent it to Peggy, who shared it with me, and now I'm offering it to you.